make a guitar solo sound natural? Well, this is going to sound too simple, but it sounds natural when it's not forced. <laughs> That's the okay. answer. Yeah. So uh, how, the, the question is, you know, how do you make it sound natural? So let's flip it around. How do you make a guitar solo sound not forced? Well, after you're done forcing it. In the beginning, you have to force it because you don't know what you're doing. Like if I, I'm just gonna make something up. I have no idea what I'm about to do. But let's just say there's some part of a solo, I don't know, um, that has these notes. I don't know why you, I don't know why you would play that. But anyway, in the beginning, maybe it goes like this. Maybe the actual solo part would be like this. There's a slide, whoops. Something like that. There's a certain rhythm and there's a certain slide part. There's a certain way to play it, right? I know this is really simple, but I'm just showing an example. In the beginning, first thing I have to do is know where the right notes are. So first thing I'm gonna do is learn the first note. That's it, I'm just gonna hit the note. It's that simple. Second part, I'm gonna hit the second note. So when I can do that, I'm gonna practice that. And I'm gonna make sure that I'm hitting it with the right fingers as well. By the way, if you can't see my fingers right now, it's not important. I'm just showing you an example. I'm showing you a concept of how you can learn uh, something like this. So after I learn the first two parts, I have to know where the third note is. Now, I'm not gonna worry about any fancy techniques or anything like that. I just need to get to the third note. I'm also not gonna worry about timing. I just need to get to the third note. So if I play first note, and then I move my finger up like this, to get to the third note, I can play the right notes. And then I'm just gonna practice, it's very simple. I'm just gonna practice playing the right notes. And then I'm gonna add the rhythm to it. And when I get good at that, I'm gonna add on the next little tiny layer. Maybe, um, actually, before we add any, any phrasing or style, I'm gonna add the last note too. So once I get those three notes down, I just add the last note. Then I just practice that. You might have to go slower, but this is very simple, right? So I'm kind of going faster just to show you the example. But once you got that, then go back to the original solo part. Now start adding the style or the phrasing parts. In this case, there was only one um, slide, so it's pretty easy, but now I can practice it. So now, even if I'm gonna try to mess up the slide, even if I'm not good at it, I can still practice it because I arrived at the right notes. Even if I try to struggle like this, a lot of people do that. They try to press down too hard on the slide. Slides aren't the point right now, but I'm just showing you an example of how you can practice through something like this. Slow it down until you can hit all the right notes and do the technique. That's it. And once you get that down, you can speed it up. You can start to add a little more of a style to it, but eventually you practice it. It's very simple to practice. And then, then you end up to make it sound natural. And the, the, I want you to get this. This is the distinction between going from forced to natural. It's the point, just like driving a car to the grocery store. It's that point at which you no longer have to think about the mechanical motions in order to arrive at your destination, in order to arrive at the grocery store. For example, when, you're, when, when you've driven to your local grocery store enough times where you can think about something else when you're driving, then your pathway, your driving is natural, isn't it? Like you don't think about it, it's not mechanical. That's the point. When it stops becoming mechanical, it starts to sound natural because you're not thinking about it anymore. So if I think about this, tell me if this sounds mechanical or not. Would you want to listen to that on a song? Yeah. Sounds like I'm practicing, right? But if right. I'm not thinking about it, and even if I mess up some notes, so what? If I'm not thinking about it and I'm just hearing a rhythm, there's a lot of there's a lot of, lot of ways I can play this. There's so many different things you can do. I'm just flowing with it. You, and that's what makes it sound natural. That's when that's also the point at which other people want to listen to you because it, it's, it's natural, it's coming from you. It's, it's, you're expressing yourself at that point. That's what makes something sound musical and that's what makes uh, somebody else kind of inspired by what they're hearing when you're playing. 
That's really good. That's really great stuff. Yeah, I think the more you do anything, the more you practice it, the more comfortable you get with things, it will sound more natural. And yeah, that's awesome. So, if you're watching this on YouTube and you aren't uh, subscribed already, I think this is a perfect time for you to hit the like button, hit the subscribe, the bell notification so that you see us uh, every time we launch a new video, a new Q&A, some new content, some new backing tracks and things like that. We want you to be part of our YouTube community as well as the Breakthrough Guitar community.